hopefully the game doesn't crash again. <laughs> Because we are off on an adventure! I want to go check out a few of the mass outbreaks that are going on. Because while I could go take on the next gym, I also want to try and complete my Pokedex. Because I've been thinking about it. And well, yeah, collecting Pokemon for the Pokedex isn't that exciting in the series. It also, like, the more I collect now, the less I have to collect later. Which is really good. Which is really good. And what we want. I knew there was a Pokemon I forgot about. A Marini! I love Marini. Um, honestly with the backstrike, I could probably just catch you with a Great Ball. But yeah, I want to try and complete some of the Pokedex. Because... I heard my cat do something stupid. Uh, but yeah, I want to try and complete some of the Pokedex. Because I just want to, like, get it over with. Oh, and by the way, I found this out. And I apologize for it. You guys can actually hear my PC in the background. I realize while editing that my PC is very audible in the background. And I just wanted to apologize for that. Because I really can't control that. Two. Three. Done. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. I'm recording on... Uh... Alright. Had to make sure I was... Recording with both of my softwares. I want to just try and catch Pokemon and also Go take on the next gym speaking of whoa. Oh I meant to throw something at you, but that's a clodger. What do you want cat? Yeah, I knew you were coming in here I heard you from all the way across the house. You want behind the, you want behind the window? One second you want behind the window? Look, I'm a cat person. Of course I talk to my cats. Yeah, it's such a cool Pokemon design. Whoa! Okay! It didn't- Oh, jeez! Some you're fast! Oh, what in the world? There's some- There's some strong Pokemon. You're not even that high level! You're only level 20! It's Veluza! Veluza is a water psychic type introduced in this region. And it is easily- one of the most annoying Pokemon ever. Is that a... That's a Broxish in the background. Gotta go catch that. There's a bunch of Pokemon over here. Veluza is really annoying. <laughs> because it's fast and it is all over. And if you ever go in water, it just always chases you. And is much faster than you in every scenario. Giga... Giga Impact? Hyper Beam? And look, there's a horde of Watrol. I mean, kill a Watrol. And there's a Gyarados. I think I already have one, though. Um, I definitely hit it in the back. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, level 31. Flash Cannon. Actually, you don't have a great special... Oh, wait, no, you have a horrible special attack. That's just such a good move, though. I'm going to skip on it, mostly because you have a minus special attack stat. Hi, there are so many Pokemon. Grass Pledge. What in the world is that? What in the world is that? I've never seen that one before. Um, Grass Pledge. Oh, yeah, that's the move that like only the starters can learn. Water Pledge, and then I'm guessing Fire Pledge is over here. Yep. Alright, well that's cool. There's another one all the way over here. And I need to go past the Star Badge. I think I'll actually... I want to go take on this gym. So... We're going to skip that for now. That's a Clauncher, okay. Looking for Ty Tynemo. The little, like, electric guy from the electric gym. I don't need one, but like I really like that Pokemon, and I'm not I'm not gonna use one on my team. What the heck was that? Was that one? No, it's a bar. It's an Aracuda. Barracuda. How's this? Uh, um, actually, if I'm correct, there's actually a secret behind the gym. 
Like an item. I hear a sparrow. Oh, I see something glowing over there. If I'm correct, this is a... Yeah, it's one of those staffs. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Yes. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Great. Wonderful. Um, and then I saw there was an item. Is a TM. Misty Terrain. Halves damage from dragon type moves. I never knew that. That's actually kind of good. Pokemon are so cute. That girl totally gets it. Um... Vault and Veluza, I'm late, I'm late! Oh, and uh, hi, Jim. Oh, and there, there he goes. Ah, Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hi. Oh, hey! <laughs> You're here as a gym challenger, right? Uh, yeah. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just let. Big man? Big man? Splatoon 3! That big man ju just left his Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet, I'm counting on you. I obtained Kofu's wallet. Oh, I love that wallet. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to Porto Marinata. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Okay, so we gotta pass through the desert to go get to Kofu, who's at the port, because he wants to go to the market to buy things. Are you confused yet? There we go, there's one. Um. Excuse me? I thought this game got patched! I love jumping with uh, the legendary dog. It's not, te technically, it's not a dog, it's a dragon. But let's be honest here, this thing is more like a dog than the actual legendary dogs. Like, the legendary dogs, my friend Sean brings this up all the time, but the legendary dogs are based off of cats. And this is gonna be fun, because I've gotta go catch a bunch of Pokemon. Again! I love my collector thon brain! Hi, Cyclozar. I, I can't get. Okay, well, um, X Attack, that's gonna be sold. I don't use X items. Um,. Oh, look, there's an Orthworm. I actually didn't ca I didn't actually catch one. Yeah, during the uh, time in which I was actually able to. Because Orthworm doesn't... Fun fact about Orthworm, it actually doesn't spawn until you beat it the uh, Titan. So you technically can't actually catch Orthworm. You can't catch Orthworm until you beat the Titan. But I never caught one back when I beat the Titan. So, I will say, I do wish Orthworm was larger. Like, the Titan gives off this massive size, but then regular Orthworm is just like this tiny little guy. Okay. That was one mud slap. It's raining now. It's ra- Why is it raining now? What do you mean you broke out? This thing's more annoying than the actual Titan. Uh, nest ball. I don't know why. Just do it. Oh, of course you get a critical capture the moment you kill Pyrophobia! But anyways, that's Worthworm caught. And now I gotta go revive or Pyrophobia. Thanks, Orthworm! I can't believe I'm actually debated using one of you for so- It's not- There's no way that thing is 8 foot 2 inches. Maybe it's that long, but it's not that tall. Oh, soft sand. Boosts the power of ground type moves. If I had a ground type, a moonstone. Yeah, if I had a ground type, that'd be useful. But I mean, a bulldo- Wait a minute, I have a ground type! <laughs> I forgot that, uh, baguette was a ground type. I thought the thing had a nose. I thought Cacturn had, like, a pointy nose. Also, that mountain just spawned in behind me. Oh, wait, that might explain some issues. It's level 35! Um, real quick, I want to see something. Okay, you're maxed out in speed. So, change held item. Now you're going to get the power bracer. 
so that you have max attack. You have a lot of special defense. Oh, there's a Santaconda. 36. You know, I'm going to skip on the high level Pokemon for now. Oh, well, look, there's a um, Relor. Relor! A brand new bug type Pokemon. It's rolling poop. <laughs> what else do you want me to say? <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, Great is evolving. Well, I'm going to let that happen because why not? <laughs> what was that mouth? That was funny. Electro, nice. Oh, look at that. It's a, uh, what? Oh, thanks. Thanks, whoever's calling me. Oh, it's Arvin. Hey, Tyler. Apparently, this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking on, off and on. And, ugh, it's making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm going to just sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Oh, everything stayed where it was. I'm going to avoid catching high-level Pokemon. I don't want that many levels. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the Aqua Breed uh, Tauros. I'm not going to catch it. I don't really want it. But cool. You fool. I'm just going to use my Nest Ball. You think you could stop me? Nest Ball always works. It always works. <laughs> There's Grimer, too. Uh, you know what? Why not? Why not try the nest ball? <laughs> Dang it, I thought nest ball always worked. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, Flame Charge doesn't have a chance to burn. I mean, it makes sense. It already is a really good move because you can uh, increase your speed with it. But most fire type moves have the chance to burn. I mean, like, Ember has a chance to burn. It's the only one of the three starter moves that has a chance to burn. Nice, Rotom. I've never used one, but I want to use one eventually. Now this! The Ditto. Yup. Ditto's in this game. It is so annoying. So the way a Ditto works is that it actually disguises as Pokemon in the wild. Which is awesome, by the way. Ah, crap. So it disguises as actual Pokemon in the wild, and you have to actually, like, look at them to figure out if it's the right one or not. Which I really like that. This could be bad. If I'm correct, there's actually something behind the lookout. Yeah! Vault and Veluza! Where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. <laughs> Don't worry, old man Kovu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kovu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. If you're thinking of trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, apprentice will have to stop you. So you have something super important to say to us busy folk or what? This is super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Wow, what a jerk. All right, Dodie, you're higher level. Thunderfang, it's faster. Dodie! Sucks to be you, loser, Lamau. Dang it, that backfired. And now my wallet's empty too. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus over here about? Oh, man, Kofu, seems this kid got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer for a little wallet-less money list me? What can I what can I do for you? I have your wallet. Return Kofu's wallet to him. Vault of the loser! My wallet! Say what now? My lobby staff has sent you out here to bring it to me? <laughs> That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope we didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we're both a bit worked up to find I forgot my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vote him a loser! I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look at it catches the light and shines so beautifully. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. 
Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Kaskarafa gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bin that seaweed for this old man. Okay, give it my best shot. Haha, <laughs> you already know the ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. You're something else, kid. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. <laughs> 50,000! Jeez! Okay, so auctions. Something in this game that literally is used once and then you can do for the rest of the game, but nobody seems to talk about it. That was amazing! You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'm taking it now, if you don't mind. I hand over the legendary Wakame seaweed to Kofu. This seaweed's a great catch. I've been feeling low at the seabed if I've ever failed to get my hands on it. If there's any, if there's any of that money I gave you left yet, yeah, 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 feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to get, try your hand at the auction if you like. Alrighty, I'm going to head back to the Cascarafa gym now. Old man Kofu's going to prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. I don't know why. I imagine he's southern even though he's probably Irish. Or from the whale. Or from Wales. There we go. We passed. Nice. And I did a horrible southern accent. Two. Wonderful. But yeah, so now you can actually do bids here. And you can get irons. Oh, that's one we want. Horseradishes? Herbsa? No, but we want to do the Rotom catalog. Since I have Rotom. And the Rotom catalog is pretty useful. You guys don't even probably have a Rotom. You just want it because it looks good. Idiots. Stupid. Idiots. Assault Vest. That's actually pretty good. The Assault Vest makes it so that you can't use status moves to set up. But you can actually, your special defense is bo is uh, boosted. And then there's um, there's actually a secret little area over here. Cyclozar, nice. I think that one just died. I got nothing to lose. Except my dignity. Don't even have that anymore. <laughs> I don't got dignity. Funny joke, me. Thanks, me. I'm super funny. I know. That's why I said funny joke, me. Wow, thank you. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Oh, it's a low kicks. I don't have one of them yet. And I guess I won't have one. Oh, and I ran into a Meowth. Nice. Meow. I'm a Meowth. Meow. Check me out. I'm a cat. Anyone else remember that song? I'm a cat. Meow. Check me out. Was that from Onision? Because if it was, then I feel bad for singing it because I hate him. But if it wasn't, then I don't feel bad. I miss both of those. I'm just the greatest. There's an item here. I mean, a TM. Fire Fang. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I wonder if Doty can learn that. Because that's great type coverage. Though, I think I would want Doty to learn, like... Ice Fang? So that maybe? Is there a Water Fang? Water chomp. Water bite. Aqua fang. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This is the, um... This is the one nice battles I do want to do. So I'm actually going to go and battle five people in the desert. Because it gives you a really good thing if you beat them. I've 20 years of student at the academy at my belt. Why have you been there for 20 years, Lewis? 20 years for this. Yeah, great waste of your life, man. Oh, I've got a guitar. I'm shaking. I've got a guitar that doesn't make sound. Wow. Impressive. I'm as victorious as my guitar is loud. That why you're weird, weirdo. Weirdo. Nightshade, don't really need that. Larvesta Fuzz, don't really need that. So much sand. 7 out of 10, too much sand. What do you think will happen if sand gets in my shoes? Um, you're going to have sand in your shoes and you'll be irritated? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, this guy's only got one. Alright, you're dead. Wow, who could have seen this coming? I did. Maybe I'll just go bury my head in the sand. That's... Not the right response to losing. I'd like to do something fun. Okay. I guess getting your 
butt kicked is fun. Oh, you have a Shellos. That's cute. I have a giant grass cat. Oh, you got three Pokemon. Okay, you're just going to be annoying, aren't you? The joy of youth. What is youth though? You do you have the answer? No, I really don't have the answer. Bellin. Ah, the folly of youth. Okay, so now I can hi Fampy. I can go back and I can get my reward for beating five students. That's weird. Why that's weird. But now that I'm back, I can talk to this guy who says, Hello there, Pokemon Regal Lep. I can't speak. Anyways, who cares? He gives me the TM for Earthquake. And so now I can actually make Earthquake. And how much does it cost? Spike strong. Earthquake requires three that I don't have yet. But that's fine. Because I'm just going to teach it to, um, to beget. It's going to replace Bulldoze. It's just good. It's a much better move. I'm not going to use it against this gym. But, you know, it's nice to have. I'm going to go and take on the gym. You are stupid. Oh, what? Sorry? Ah, of course. How could I forget? It didn't load in. Oh, um, I want to see real quick. I'm going to give Dodie the... Magnet, not use. Why is that an option if it doesn't have an effect? Oh, who the heck are you people? Well now, Tyler. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. <laughs> What's this now? Is this a kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you say so, I guess, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You got some spirit. Big shot. Big shot. Spit. Spit. We're spammed it. That's me. Rika here. At your service. What's with the... What What are your suspenders made of? Like, is it leather? Why do you have a leather tie with a triangle? And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. At least she's confident. I mean, she has every right to be, but all right. She's a little... Farcical, shall we say, but like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance, anyways. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. In indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See you when you hit the champion assessment. You show these gyms what you got. Best of fortunes to you. Bye! Weird people. Alright, but I am ready to take on the gym. Tyler, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym pass test. Gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Yes, I am. Very well, allow me to show you the battle court. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, it's daytime. I usually, this battle usually happens at night for me. Oh, look, everyone sees Kofu. There he is. Oh man, Kofu! Play with us! Come on! I would be honored if you would try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick, Glack. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Okay. <laughs> man, people are really understanding. The paparazzi is never like that. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over to Puerto Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make myself some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in your battle here. Alright. I'm ready, Kofu. At the auction, we battle about buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changed as the raging sea. 
I'm gonna serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try and eat them though. That's such a weird line. All right, here he is. The Surging Chef Kofu. Oh, I love this guy so much, and I love this gym too. All right, so first up is Veluza. So, of course, this thing is fast. It's gonna be faster than us. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. So he's gonna use Mole Breaker, but that doesn't really matter because that just neutralizes the abilities. But Almonds is just Overgrow. It's not really that good. So immediately, all three of my moves are really good, but I'm going for a Seed Ball. Actually, I'm gonna go for a Home Claws real quick. I'm faster. Wow. Was not expecting that. Veluzi. Oh, it knows Pluck. Okay, we gotta kill this thing ASAP. Um, yeah, Seed Bomb is the best move. And this thing is very frail. Yeah, so it, it will go down really quick. Okay, that's good. I did not know it had Pluck. That is slightly worrying. Lava Plume? Pyrophobia! <laughs> Wug Trio, the evolution of Wiglet. Um, I'm going to keep my current Pokemon because I'm positive this thing can't really touch me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take Wug Trio se like, seriously. All right. It's faster? Wow, that thing was fast. I was not expecting that. All right, so that thing's out. But now it's Crabominable. And while, yes... The tide ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. And yeah, Almond is low, but I'm going to Terastalize. And I should be faster, and a plus one seed bomb should... Yeah, I'm faster, so a plus one seed bomb should be enough to take out the Crabominable. All right, come on. There we go. Terastalize Florigato. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon gonna rock the boat. <laughs> I love Kofu so much. Oh, I love him so much. He's easily one of my favorite gym leaders. And there we go. There's the water Terra type uh, Crabominable. Which should be scary. But I'm actually pretty sure it doesn't have a uh, ice type move at all. So... And we could just uh, one-shot it. Okay. Well, that was easy. Surprisingly, I think I struggle more against Mela and Giacomo. There we go. <laughs> Voting the loser. You're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. There we go. We beat the gym leader. I mean, I wasn't expecting that one to be difficult. I had a... Electric type and a grass type. <laughs> a loss is refreshing as the air in the morning market. I'm just a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, master fisher, just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you, and let's get a real good photo of you. And let's get a real good photo together using them pose I've been waiting to try for a while now. Aw. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love him. He's such a goofy dude. I love him so much. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to the level 40 will be easy to catch and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. That actually will be pretty useful, I think. The user attacks the water with showering it in water that's so cold it saps the target's power. It is also power this also lowers the target's attack stat. Alrighty, it's about, uh, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got to prep him for the next wave. You come back and see me again now, you hear? Yeah, of course. I love him. He's probably like... He's either my favorite or my second favorite gym leader, easily. Wow, who could have seen this coming? Oh, Tyler, hola. Caught you, just as you finished up. Caught you just as you finished up here, huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges in now, right? <laughs> Man, that's awesome. I can't believe you're halfway through the gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. You talk a lot about fruit, Nimona. You just talk about fruit like every single time we meet. It's kind of weird. 
it makes me just want to challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because i got to put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it! When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I'm going to ask for a rain check. Uh, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Tyler. Forgive me! <laughs> Forgive me! <laughs> oh, I love this stupid game. It's so much fun. The characters are just so much fun. I love it.